Hey, welcome back to another video where Baron and I are building our own cement home with our own hands. And also getting into a few shenanigans along the way. Well, I sure can handle it. <gasps> Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because I think you're gonna wanna see this house once it's complete. Okay, we are going to pick up some scaffolding from our neighbor because tomorrow we have a crew of friends coming over, small crew, to help us stack the next layer of block. And look what we're gonna go do it in, our super functional truck. How do you feel about having a truck? It's nice. I still know that it needs some work before we can really trust it to go on long trips and stuff, but I think it's a great starting platform. And I'm excited to build it out once we have <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, Cam. Come on, buddy. Good boy. I need to learn how to reverse so I can drive. I really need to learn how to start on hills. Whenever I drive the Subi now, I keep reaching for a clutch pedal with my left foot. Whenever I start the car. So anyway, so last month, I ran it over, a big one, front and back tires, and it lived. Oh my gosh. And I wonder if this is the same one, and he came to haunt me. Okay. Uh, he's on your right side, on far right yeah. side. Oh, yeah, there I'm you always, go. That's great. I'm always, okay. It'd be nice if he's cooperative. He doesn't seem to be as mad as he was yesterday. Oh, thank God. Simple. Okay. Wow. See, that's why I don't want to play with them because they're freaking fast. Okay, we'll be right back. No worries. I've sat so close to so many rattlesnakes this year. snake hook that Brad made me is perfect. It's out of an old golf club that actually somebody gave me when I took a snake out of their yard and I have so much more control. It's amazing.
I think it's really good. We could use like creamier cheese, but. Well, not bad for first time burger. Wow, the clouds on the mountains are cool. Oh, wow. My dad is the best, and he and my mom are so excited to help, and it's just amazing. But he rented a U-Haul to pick up our window or our doors, and he's just now arriving. Yeah! Really? So I bought some blankets and these things. Okay, I want to tell a funny little story. Greg, Baron's dad, went to Lowe's to pick up these doors for us in Denver. And the lady at the store said, wow, are you guys building a mansion with all these doors? <laughs> yeah, we are, for us. Greg spent an entire day driving these doors to us and driving straight back home. You'll be seeing Baron's parents in more and more videos because they are now residents of Colorado and we couldn't be more excited. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, thank you. This couldn't have happened without you. It has been raining just about every day for a couple weeks. It'll rain just for 30 minutes or an hour every afternoon, about, I don't know, one o'clock or so. And it is beautiful out here. All of the green is amazing. And the garden seems to like rain water more than well water. And I'm not entirely sure why that might be. I bet this smoothie is looking a little crazy to some of you. The protein powder plus the sweetness of the berries hides any flavor of greens, but I do like the taste of green if I get a hint of it. I added the avocado and peanut butter for some fat and creaminess. And if I'd had a banana, that would have gone in as well. Morning smoothies have become a staple for me this summer now that we have a freezer to keep frozen fruit. Like Baron said, we have been getting near daily afternoon thunderstorms like clockwork. We're so grateful for them in this dry climate because they bring in cool air and refreshing rain to work in instead of spicy summer heat. Baron just cut these little notches that make all the doors and windows sit at 80 inches high. The next step is to cut large wooden headers to sit on top of them. They'll look a little bit like this, similar to what you might find in an adobe home. <laughs> Some of you last video said, what'd you say, adobe? Fodobe, fodobe, fodobe. Just today, we were gonna cut these headers out of blue spruce, but a miracle load of Douglas fir is about to be delivered to James and Doreen's. Doug fir, they say, having a much richer color and texture and it's one of Baron and I's favorite trees, of which we make 
fur tea out of all the time. Every single step of this process has been so humbling because we know nothing. I should speak for myself. And we're learning everything. And we hope that you're learning a little something too. Sometimes in videos, I like to use a theme of music. Lately, it's been feeling so like wild, wild west, what we've been doing, building a home and stuff, but I've been using a lot of folk and traditional country and stuff. And today I thought I'd go back to piano and do like a piano theme in this video that you're watching. I usually use piano music in the winter because I think piano goes really nicely with snow falling and it's slower and just beautiful. So. I don't know. I thought that might be interesting to hear. I think this is going to wrap up today's video. Do make sure you come back and watch the next video where we put all the headers on top of the windows and doors. I think that's going to be a really big visual moment for the home. It's going to start making the windows and doors look like real windows and doors and not just like a big fort, kind of fortress and walls that we're building. So come on back for that. Watch all of the past videos if you want to know why we are building a cement house. <laughs> it's unconventional, but it's awesome, and we're really, really stoked about it. So yeah, see you in the next one.